Hi! As you may have seen in the travel vlogs, I just went to Leobarda for only one night, two days, and I thought it would be useful to make a video of what's in my weekend bag for when you're going away for a short period of time. Also, last time I was in Prague, one of you guys requested it, so let's do this. I'm going to show you what's in my travel weekend bag. So let me start off with, well, the basics that you have to take with you. My sleeping clothes, I am always super cold, so I always take sweatpants with me, a t-shirt from Stefan, and a sweatshirt. That way I am for sure warm. The next thing I will take with me is, of course, my underwear. You can't do without clean underwear, am I right? I will always calculate like um, a little bit, like 10% extra. So I will always take like underwear for one per day and then add like one or two extras just in case you never know what happens man maybe you like pee in your pants you never know what happens in your sleep right so not saying that happened though i know <laughs> that doesn't happen i'm just always um you know i'm just always taking precautions moving on to toiletries of course i'm bringing my toothbrush and toothpaste next to the toothpaste and the toothbrush i'll be bringing of course a hairbrush it's semi-clean some deodorant, a contact lens case and some liquid for the contact lenses, makeup remover, this new brilliant leave-in conditioner. As you can see, I've been wearing my hair more curly and this stuff, it, it works wonders for my curls. I can highly recommend it if you have curls. I'm bringing these eye patches and also this face mask because there's going to be like a hotel spa and afterwards I want to do a mini pampering treatment. Then we have this small skincare pouch. So what's in it? Night repair serum, some sunblock. Because my skin's been so dry, I've been using this as eye cream and it's been helping quite well. Also, I've been using this one for the rest of my face and it's also helping quite well. And finally, I have some solid perfume. So I use quite a lot of makeup because I'm a little bit insecure about my skin, which is, uh, yeah, which is very acne prone. So of course I use green concealer and I use like a little bit more liquid yellow concealer for my under eyes dark circles. Then I have some Sephora regular concealer underneath it I use the color science primer which is really really good for my oily skin I top all that concealer madness off with this Misha BB cream it's been fantastic for my skin and I love the coverage of this BB cream I finish it off with this Mac brush and this setting powder on top of it I spray some water just to make the look a little bit more natural as you can see uh, it can get cakey very easily next thing I do are my eyebrows and this Max Factor eyebrow pencil has been amazing along with this Eyler eyebrow kit I've been loving this so much and yeah I'm just experimenting with my brows I also have some tweezers just in case I find some lost hairs a liquid eyeliner and a pencil. Finally, I put on some mascara. This mascara is amazing. You really should try it if you can shop at the Action. And then I finish it off with a little bit of color on my cheeks. This blusher from Clinique. I also always carry a sharpener and this cable elastic because this is fantastic for your hair. The next thing I'm going to be taking with me are two bathing suits because we're going supping in the canals of Leowarder. I didn't even know Leowarder had canals. Oops, that dropped to the ground. And the there's a hotel spa. So I don't know if you can wear bathing clothes over there. I prefer to do it, but just in case I'm bringing two. As you can see, I'm definitely a pretend minimalist. Sometimes I have my periods where I wanna take as little as possible with me and sometimes, especially on city trips, I will take a little bit more with me because there's just space in my carry-on bag. Also for the supping, I have just a simple long sleeve with me because they said it would be useful. So I'm like, hey, if it's useful, I will take it with me. And then I also have over here some shoes that can get wet. I don't know if I'll need them, but they said it could be useful, so I'm going to be taking these. And also this bag, which I got at a press event, 
it is uh, coated on the inside so if the shoes gets wet I can just put them in and none of the other clothing will get wet. I will be taking my laptop because I'm going by train and it's like a two hour journey so I can definitely do some editing on my laptop. In here is just you know my MacBook, charger, hard drive and some earplugs. Then I have my vlogging camera, charger for the vlogging camera, I won't be taking this camera and just a small tripod in case I need it. I've only stayed for one night but we did have like a full day on Friday and then spend the night in a hotel and the next day the tour continued. So I do have an outfit for the next day which is a super comfortable outfit because I'm also filming a walking tour and I have the supping and I just want to be comfortable, you know? So I'm taking these leggings which I bought in Hong Kong. They're really, really comfortable and underneath it I will be wearing tights because like I said, I get cold really easily. On top of it, on top of it. <laughs> I'll just be wearing this simple black long t-shirt which covers my butt because leggings you know, show maybe a little bit too much of the butt. And on top of that t-shirt, I will be wearing this sweatshirt from Forever 21, which I can also unzip if it gets too warm. Layers, baby, layers. Gotta need those. And I also have some socks for that outfit. On Friday, when we arrived, we had like a super full schedule, as you could see in yesterday's travel vlog. So I needed an outfit that would fit a lot of situations. Therefore I had two pairs of tights on because I'm, I really get cold easily. Dress just underneath my regular dress because this one is see-through as you can see. I do love it because it's quite like a sporty dress but it also fits in a little bit more you know, it's casual but it, it can also be a little bit more formal especially with the vintage belt. I like it. Also, this dress is quite warm. You wouldn't say because, you know, it's see-through and everything, but I don't know, the, f the fabric, the material, it's, it's quite warm, which is really nice. So I'm just going to put this in my, what is it, Samsonite carry-on bag. It's actually Stefan's, but his was upstairs and I didn't feel like going to the storage space. enjoyed this video please put a thumbs up if you did if you're not yet subscribed to my channel click that subscribe button and then we can travel together thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye